good morning students we'll continue with the 12th standard economics lesson 1 introduction to macroeconomics here usually economic is classified into two categories first one is micro and macro micro means small macro means big micro in the sense a uh, uh, economic level strategy can be taken for the uh, a family a small level or for the industry single industry a single sole trade company like that they will take macro means a country has a whole the economy has a whole so this can be divided or it denoted or coined by the Ragnar French and Norway economics. You can see in the first Nobel Prize winner for the economic science in 1933. He defined the word micro, the small, that means the macro is a large. He defined. Then afterwards, the modern economics. Uh, John Mian Keynes that is J.M. Keynes we can say no so in his book called as a general theory of employment interest and money in the 1936 law he has defined more about this macroeconomics so J.M. Keynes um, can be called as a modern a father of modern macroeconomics we can say one word later come so then we will continue with that. What is the meaning of a macroeconomic? First, the macro, the, it's the Greek word, macros, M-A-K-R-O-S, a large, a Greek word. So, it is a study of a whole as aggregate of national income, employment, and also the, it, this macroeconomic is, call, is also called as income theory. One word later come. So, this macro economy includes what and all means inflation, business cycle, poverty and also inequality, disparities, disparity in the sense different between the one state to another state we can say an example, investment, savings, capital formation, capital formation, new uh, company can be started, how it can be, infrastructure development, infrastructure in the building as a developing for a whole country how the developing of a buildings or in the roads uh, dams uh, railways uh, maybe electric railway or a fast bullet train like that the, how the infrastructure level we are adopting developing that can be will be in this macro and international trade balance of trade balance of payment international trade we can say how it can be means from the trade between the one country to another country import export will do no? that one balance of trade we can what we can say means uh, our country's currency that means money rupees how it can be equal to the dollar how much it is equal to the dollar that and all can be so this next will go for the importance of macroeconomics why it is uh, studied why it, it is needed we can say first uh, it is a suitable strategy planning can be made for what is in the market so we can see that if this is a corona time how the market what are the product if i sell in the market how the market will be there it is a, a price will be increasing that and all strategy can be made it and also future problem if a corona time it is there means uh, all the depression many people the un unemployment will be there so next future law what and all the measurement we can take so that challenge a precautionary measures we have to take it and also important opportunity given for the scientific investigation randomly others are saying these are not, not like that and all the strategy data should be collected Next, it can be helped to compare or the analyst of last year and then this year. Last year how it should be, now this year how it should be like that. Next, better prediction 
ஆஃப்டர் ஆஃப்டர் திஸ் கொரோனா டைம் நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் ஹவு ஐ கேன் மேக் த பிளானிங் ஃபார் த இண்டஸ்ட்ரி ஃபார் த மார்க்கெட் வாட் த ப்ராடக்ட் ஆட் தட் ஃபார்முலேஷன் ஸ்ட்ராட்டர்ஜி டேட்டா கலெக்ஷன் எவ்ரி திங் கலெ ஆன் த பேஸ் ஆஃப் தட் ஒன் ஃபார்முலேட் த பாலிசிஸ் வை மீன்ஸ் டு அவாய்ட் த கிரைசிஸ் கிரைசிஸ் இன் த சென்ஸ் ஆஃப் லாஸ் த விகன்சி so that it can be shown in the diagram or in the map mind map you can see next uh, we'll go for the a uh, scope of uh, economics here you can see here the scopes uh, as we said the uh, what are the importance you can see here then we'll go for the scope of macroeconomics so according to this first scope what they are telling first point is that national income so national income measurement composition for other sectors that means how the many industries or a big industry or small industry how they are earning how they are getting profit that analysis has to be taken then only overall countries national income is good or bad it's going down or increasing or decreasing it is better than last year or this year and we can analyze so it gives a long term understanding for the growth so far after 5 years what are the measurement i have to do that measurement have to do for it may we can say 5 years plan we have did no that and all next we'll go second point is that the inflation inflation in the stands uh, steady increasing in the price level may be a wholesale or consumer price it then uh, that means a uh, income of a person is not increasing but the product prices keep on increasing that is a steady increasing price that is if it's that is there means we can call it as a inflation next point is that business cycle business cycle usually this business cycle can be a uh, boom period recession period depression period recovery period ups and downs will be boom period means all will be happy prosperity will be there recession period means uh, everything will come down slowly from the happy to it will slowly come down all the price level everything will be come down now our salary also will be come down. depression period means fully flat that means all will be lost many will be unemployment that is depression period then recovery period from that from corona period after corona is you think that after this year or may next day everything will be solved will all become normal na? how the recovery will be there all will be started working new business all will be getting full sir like that recovery so this business cycle can be studied elaborately in the fifth lesson so this i'll give only the introduction next we'll go for the poverty and unemployment see the poverty and unemployment for both for the rich country and for the poor country is same only that we can say paradox the muran paradi that is a rich uh, in the rich country we cannot consider that they won't be a poverty won't be unemployment we cannot so to avoid all this the clear understanding of poverty and unemployment should be there then only we can allocate the resources for which which class people we can give the more resources or income uh, we can uh, which side we can create more employment opportunity so that all will be employed all will get salary then the poverty won't be there so that correct measurement should be made means the correct study of this poverty and unemployment should be there next point is the economic growth for the whole development economic growth macroeconomics better understanding of macroeconomics is a must so the scientific strategy has to be taken into consideration next is the economic policies that means suitable policies has to be made that means solve the problem to how to overcome the obstacles problem anything is there mean how to overcome achieve said this is corona time anything problem 
in the country or for the unemployment to or for the poverty level means overall the country how it has to come out from that one that problems solve or that policy has to be made by the that everything should be done using the macroeconomics only so all these also have a limitation from some limitation will be there first one is that uh, excessive generalization whole so that means over and randomly they will give a strategy that means uh, the person in the kashmir have a some other problem person in the kanyakumari have a some other problem so so we cannot consider as randomly we cannot say it if it say if they say means we cannot solve the individual problem we cannot say it. second assume the homogeneity among all individual that means we can consider that all people are same all are having same problem rich have a some other problem poor as a basic need he won't be having rich have a all basic need a luxury product we don't be having for it so that the individual differentiation will be the randomly all will be homo homogeneous and all will be same all will be having the same problem we cannot consider next the third point is falsy composition analysis if it's there means that means uh, what is good for an individual what is good for me it should not be need not be good for the country what is uh, good for the country should not be need not be good for us individual person abdina enakku nalladun padrathu country ku nalladun padadhu country ku nalladun padrathu individual ku nalladun padadhu ipo my country ku what is good it should not need not be good for other country so like that it it have a random calculation can be made next one is the last point fourth point is that non economic factor is also that means um, banking facility transport that also can be considered so next if we go for the types economy and its types means uh, as we can say aj brown he says he defines a system by which people earn their living so if my country is having means using which system i can earn money a person is wanted to start a business means in what basis he is getting a license or in what basis he is giving a permission to start a business. like that strategy for living earning what pattern they are following that is the that is what the, the type and j r hicks is also economicist he says economy is a cooperation of producer and workers and make a goods and services to satisfy wants of the consumer that means both the producer produce means whatever the product he produce that should satisfied by the consumer so both should have a understanding so in short we can say it it as a in the mind map you can see you can see here the a producer a consumer a exchange will be there and support economic and non economic support activity will be there external activity will be there so here we can see here uh, first we can see first go for the producers producer activity and consumption activity both will be supported by each other ultimate both aim is to achieve the growth say i want to buy anything means i am giving 100 rupees means that 100 rupees satisfaction i should get and the same producer is making a product for 50 rupees na he will be aiming for the other 50 rupees as his profit so that both satisfaction should be there next exchange means i cannot buy without paying money i cannot buy so that medium of exchange what it should be there na they have to decide next economy and non economic activity first economic activity me example we can say transport banking advertising planning government policy on base of any these only the producer has to produce anything expense has to be expensing all this one what is he is getting no that is a profit non economic activity na health education entertainment government rules and regulation on following all this only 
we can produce or not after that what we are getting expenses or income the government the what and all what we are saying is the government india as a whole if india is getting all this and from various sectors they are how they are activating that should be considered so in addition external activity you can say the import export international trade immigration migration from one country to another country i am doing business foreigners coming and doing business in india so that and all everything can be taken into consideration this is what this mind map wanted to explain for you that was a explanation also will be given in here also next we will go for the economic classifying it has a different types first one is a um we can status of develop that means it can be uh, any economy can be uh, we can say that a country will developed country under developed country undeveloped country developing country in so on but developed country abina america they are fully developed under developed country na nepal afghanistan still developing adavad develop aagala romba varsha aagala abinda under developed undeveloped undeveloped abinna we can say afghanistan iduk mela avanga valara mudiyadhu yana they have more uh, maybe a debt going be there kadan jaasti irukla international developing country abinna india we can say it. so next is that system activity system activity in the sense capital economy we can say uh capitalism socialism mixedism ninga 10th la padichirukken idu elaborately we can study here okay previous social sessions la ninga padichirukken okay see so here the capitalism abina economy abina you can see america america only will usa america they are following the capitalism economy next is the socialism russia they are following the socialism economy the government rule will be there next mixedism abin india we the indians both the private people public people join together we are doing ruling the country that is government what they are adopting next is scale of activity small or large that means on the whole very large scale we are doing business or country to country or a very less in, internally country kulla abin next the nature of a function nature of function na static or dynamic static na it won't change pattern won't change na in the version capitalism ah iruka adutha version socialism ah iruka abadiyala irukudad adu than static dynamic na i can change it according to the situation nature of operation na close it open that means uh, we have uh, inside the country we are doing uh, outside the other country country international level we are doing uh, business connecting with one country to another country next the nature of advancement the te- the technology what my country is adopting traditional one na modern technology next the level of national income the people those who are inside the country their income on basis of individual income only we can decide national income is low middle or high so these we can say the economic classification next we will go for the economic uh, systems that means methodology of doing economic activity for the society as we said there are may three major activities that is capitalism socialism mixedism and also one more is there globalism globalism means a uh, uh, trend 2002 la uh, da manfred d stagger or economics has given that means international level a uh, global market international trade that means extension of capitalism we can say the international trade from one country to developed uh, we are developed technology we are adapting and doing that we can get call it as a globalism but mainly in this chapter So we'll study about capitalism, socialism, mixedism. First, we'll go for the capitalism. I'll give an introduction. Next class, uh, we'll elaborately we'll study. This capitalism is uh, 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 briefly coined, defined by the Adam Smith. Adam Smith is called as the father of capitalism. We can say 
that means a free economy a lazy of latin word la we can say lazy of pay the role of a government is very less whatever the market activity that market only will decide what the government is here the many private people will have a produce or manufacture they can do they can produce any goods and service their main aim is to make a profit that means profit a private people can earn any profit more profit they can earn they have a freedom to take or do any occupation so capitalism can be adopted by the who and all the countries means usa germany australia japan so all this but these countries are also have taken much important safeguards the drown trodden people that means romba area irukravangalukku inga paadhukappu kudukranga we can consider. so elaborately in the next class we can study so all these are all about the session 1 thank you dear students we'll continue next class with the capitalism and its future merits and demerits thank you